there's something almost religious about taking a record out and putting it on a turntable and listening to it as opposed to just flipping a switch on an iPod or a phone or something like that. It my name is Eric Vakes. I work at Vinyl Renaissance uh, and Audio uh, in Overland Park. I collected vinyl when I was a child, so I really never gave up collecting vinyl. And uh, one thing led to another. I ended up working in a music store and continued with it. I think the artwork, just because of the size of it and the, uh, the ability to include different uh, inserts and things like that, is, is far more attractive than uh, a smaller compact disc or looking at it on a uh, computer screen. Uh, also, uh, colored vinyl, things like that, the stuff they can do with vinyl is, is kind of cool and artistic. There's a bunch of classic rock titles and artists that are, are huge. Uh, the Beatles, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. These things consistently sell over and over. Michael Jackson's Thriller just never stops selling. Probably something like the Beatles, Abbey Road or something would probably be the big seller, but there are certain artists, classic rock stuff that just never stops. We do more in used. Um, but a lot of the, the reissue catalog titles, um, as I said, the Beatles, Pink Floyd, things like that, we sell a lot of those new. Um, so I think as things are reissued, um, you know, those, those are selling more and more than probably new releases. We sell a bunch of different uh, brands of record players, so obviously there's budget to consider, but uh, you know, definitely it's uh, the more you put into it, or the, better, the more you're going to get out of it. Yeah, sound quality, the, the art, the, um, and, and there is a retro thing. It's cool. It's just infinitely cooler than having CDs.